and go Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to be doing a haul video. This has been super requested on my channel, so I really wanted to get this up for you guys, especially with all the fall vibes today. So, and I've been doing a lot of shopping, not gonna lie. I want to blame it on it being fall and a new season, but can't really justify myself. So let's go ahead and jump right into it because it's going to be a very long video if I do not. So I went to Ulta, TJ Maxx, Ross and I want to say Target, but I didn't get very much at Target, so mainly Ulta. Um, a lot of it's going to be beauty products, but some of it will not, um, so I'm very excited. Make sure you have a snack or something because, girl, this is going to be a long video, okay? I have a lot of products to show you. So, um, by the way, if anybody asks what this is, it's a Grande Ice Coffee, no classic, light ice, light non-fat, and two pumps of mocha. So it is my go-to, especially if there's no cold brew, which I'm an afternoon coffee drinker, so usually cold brew is long gone by then. Um, and I am definitely a cold coffee drinker because hot coffee just makes me want to go to sleep. There, I said it. I just, it just reminds me of hot cocoa, and it's very, like, soothing. And don't get me wrong, I love coffee in all shapes, sizes, colors, temperatures, girl. I do not discriminate against coffee, okay? But I just prefer to have iced coffee, especially if I need to be awakened. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to do beauty first, and then we'll do like some of the non-beauty items. So um, first, I have this um, palette by It Cosmetics. It is called Je ne sais quoi. It is a full face complexion perfection in... Da -da 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 award-winning face palette with perfect lighting technology. Girl, I had lipstick all over my teeth. Why didn't y'all tell me? Oh, all right, all right. I have not opened it or swatched it, um, so let's just see here. So it comes with Bye Bye Pores Blush and Je ne sais quoi. How many times do I have to say that in this video, okay? Um, Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder, Sunshine in a Compact and Warmth and Perfect Lighting Luminizer in Je ne sais quoi. All right, so let's see what it looks like. So the packaging is very, very cute. Very cute. And I'm not going to swatch it for you guys, but I will show you what it looks like um, if I can get it open. So let me just give it a minute. Oh, okay. So, oh, it's really cute. So the little paper says, you are beautiful, you are it. So it looks like that. And I mean, is that not me in a palette? I mean, I've never really had a face palette that I was like, oh my gosh, have to have it. But I feel like since I'm going to be traveling a lot and um, moving, again, across the world, so I feel like I need something that has like everything all in one. So I just need this, an eye palette, a foundation, you know, things like that, like go-tos. So that way everything else can be shipped over there later, which is going to drive me nuts because then I have to use the same products, but efficiently it works. So I really like this. Hold on. Let me turn on another light for you guys. Oh, oh, there we go. So I really like this. Um, and I think it's Gosh, I think it's really, really pretty, and I'm excited to try it. And I haven't heard anything about it. It says it's new. It was $42, which those are huge sizes of those. Like those are full size products. So I thought it was a really, really good deal. And I mean, I'm just all about it. I also picked up another bronzer. Okay, this time it's not my fault. The girl at the beauty counter clearly talked me into it. She said that this is her favorite bronzer. She swears by it. And I mean, I was sold but it's $37 so it better give me the best contour of my entire life or it's being returned let's just be real so the packaging I'm not 100% a huge fan of it looks like that it kind of reminds me of grandma counter products but I have swatched it um because I wanted to make sure that it was gonna work for me hello 
I wanted to make sure that it was going to work for me, so I did swatch it. I'm not wearing it today, but um, I did swatch it, and it's a beautiful matte bronzer, um, and it's very, very neutral. I feel like it's a perfect shade, and it's very, like, it does not patch up whatsoever. It is a very nice bronzer, but girl, it is expensive, so totally understood if that's you want to pass on that one but I just want to let you know what I got today so um and it, I got the shade it's called the star bronzer and natural matte and I got the shade O2 sunkiss so I think it's really beautiful and I just think that I'm you know I'm a contour girl so I mean I like a contour and I just like it so this is a repurchase. This is the Ulta Beauty sponges, and they're called the Makeup Blending Sponges, and I got the color pink because last time I got the color like white or off-white, and it was just a hot mess. You can see the foundation. Couldn't get it out, and I mean, why do I get white anything? I mean, why do I do it? Why do I do it to myself? Like, I wear white pants. I wear white shoes, and why? So I can like clean my whole life away? I don't understand why I do that to myself. So I decided not to do that this time. And I got pink. So, um, and it is a repurchase. They are a good dupe or a good alternative to, um, especially price point wise, to the beauty blenders. Um, I really do like these. They're a little bit fatter, a little bit spongier, um, like a little bit more dense, but they still expand and they still do a beautiful blending job on your foundation. So I am a big fan of these and that's a repurchase. I also got the Tarte High Performance Naturals, the Lip Sculptor in Adore. And I think this is gonna be too warm on me. Just to be honest, I feel like it's gonna be Yellow Teeth, Hot Mess Express, but I don't know, we'll see. So what it is, is apparently, and I love Tarte, you guys. I mean, it's not that it's a bad brand. I just don't think that this is gonna work for me personally. And I love warm tones on other people. But just for me, I have to have a blue tone lipstick or my teeth are yellow. So it's just a hot mess. So um, it, it comes with, where am I? Ugh. So apparently it's a lip sculptor. So it's a lipstick and a lip gloss, which is not my favorite. I'm all about liquid lipsticks. You put it there, it's there. It does not smudge, it does not budge. It is there for the whole entire day. You do not have to reapply or anything like that. So lipsticks, lip glosses, you have to reapply in like five minutes. And I am not about that life. Like I am very low maintenance when it comes to, I do not want to touch up my face the rest of the day. But I'm all about giving it a try. Um, and so this is the lip gloss very opaque um it's actually a beautiful color but it's very opaque um almost almost not opaque um very sheer very very sheer um and then this is the lipstick and again this is ooh that's beautiful gonna be too warm on me but it's a stunning color and the um I've been swatching all day, so just forgive me, but this is the lipstick, and then this is the lip gloss, so I think that actually goes really well together, and I think it's a beautiful formula. I mean, that is like one one swipe from the lipstick, so I, I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, I'm really hard to impress with lipsticks. I mean, I've had MAC lipsticks, and I'm just like, eh, hard to impress with that, and I'm pretty impressed. So I also picked up this model's own Celestial Lip Glitter kit and it looks like that and I got it on clearance which I just I'm always about the clearance little rack thing and it's the shade Cerise Star and it's like that hot pink shade right there really cool like if I was doing like a Halloween look or intense like bright look which I usually don't so I want to step out of my comfort zone which brings me to this product which is I've heard so much hype about this product that I had to go get it because it's the Too Faced Glitter Glue, so I'm sure you all know more than I do about it, but um, I don't really step out of my comfort zone when it comes to pigments, shimmers, 
um, anything like that. Like I really do like a matte eye and that's just my thing. Um, and I really stick to my, what I know. And so I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone and I picked up this glitter glue thinking that would get me to pick up more pigments and shimmers and do like a shimmery look and everything. But I just have to be honest. I mean, matte shades look better on camera. They look better on camera. They look better in pictures. You know, if, like, if you're doing prom or something and someone wants a shimmery eye, I usually talk them away from that because I'm like, look, you're going to get flashback from the camera. It's not going to look right, especially with it being on your lid. It's just, um, shimmers just kind of don't work on camera. So I really do try to show, uh, I really do try to shy away from them and I usually just pick up mattes and that's just my thing because they always work, they always blend out good and so I've, I've just, so I picked this up and I'm excited to try it because I already know it's going to be great. This I want to say I bought at Target. It is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Liqueur Liner up to 24 hours. So like, yeah, right, but we'll see. Um, it's the gel formula, so it's in the shade Black is Black, and it's just like gel liner. So instead of doing the liner pens that I usually grab, I also picked up this um, Sleek Cosmetic Blush by 3 Palette in the shade 369 Rekindling. And, okay, I bet, I bet it's going to be broken because I already see, yeah, I already see blush everywhere, so, oh, yeah, it's already broken. It's so pretty, though, and it's, why does this one have to be the broken one? Why can't this one be the broken one? You know what I mean? So... I might have to go and grab another one of those from Ulta. I've never tried anything by Sleek Cosmetics, so we're going to see how I like it. But, um, so these two shades are kind of like shimmery, and then this one is matte, which I don't really care for the color anyways. I'm more of a peachy, peaches and cream color blush girl. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to try it, but that's a bummer. I mean, I really wanted to, uh, to try that out. So I will be returning that. I also picked up the Ulta Beauty Radiant Skin Warming Charcoal Cleanser with vitamin C and charcoal. And it's got brightening effects, vitamin C warming sensation, antioxidant rich algae which helps protect skin from envi environmental stressors, and it's an energizing charcoal infused cleanser. So I'm excited to try it. You guys know that I'm all about that um, gel cleanser or gel oil cleanser oil, whatever it is that I use by Bosha. Um, I'm all about that one. And that one is my favorite and I've been using it for years now. But um, I was, you know, wanting to try something else. So we'll see how this goes and I'll update you. You know I'm a mother. I just want to break out in that song now. But by Bare Minerals, I got Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals, I got the 5-in-1 BB Advance Performance Cream Eyeshadow, and I got the shade Smoky Espresso because I really wanted to do a smoky, um, like, black and cool tone gray eye look that's very, very classic, um, easy to wear, looks good on all skin colors, eye colors, you know, everything. Um, and so I really wanted to try that out, and it looks like so... And I just think that it's really pretty so I could put that all over my lid, smoke it out, do like a real intense dramatic look with it. And so I wanted to pick that up. I should have picked up mother other mother colors. <laughs> mother colors. I should have picked up some other colors, but I really wanted to try this one. This I've already tried out. It is the NYX Professional Makeup Faux Black. I thought it was a lip color because you know I'm all about it, but it's actually a inner eyeliner, so it's for like your waterline and your whatever this is, and um, it's in oxblood, so who wants red in their waterline? I don't know what I was thinking, I, well I thought it was a lip liner, so, but it's clearly not. I think it could still work as a lip liner, I'm not sure if I'm going to try it, but it's so pretty and it's like perfect for this fall and winter and I'm just into it. Um, so it looks like that and it's called Oxblood and I figured that would go with like a really pretty a red lip color too. Like it would just kind of like darken it up a little bit and like the lines. So whenever you line your lips. But it's an eyeliner so more than likely going to be returning it. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out on my eyes. 
I just feel like it's gonna make my eyes look like I do everything I can to get my white eyes because I already have red sensitive eyes so I don't know why I would put red on my eyes I don't know I maybe I'll get crazy and try it out I don't know I am so excited for this oh my gosh candy thank you Candy Johnson is absolutely my favorite. I'm the biggest fan. I just want to hug her and lick her. And I swear she would taste just like Candy. But she's absolutely my favorite. Um, I can link her YouTube channel down below. I'm sure you're already subscribed to it. But she's absolutely my favorite. Um, and this is her I Want Candy by Too Faced palette that she created with them. And it's, oh my gosh, and it's a tin. It's metal, you guys. Like, it's metal, and it's got these candies, like you're getting a box of chocolates. I'm obsessed. I haven't even swatched it. I have no idea what's in here. I didn't even swatch it in the stores. I just saw her name on it, and I grabbed it, and it was the last one, so it was meant to be. But I'm pretty sure this came out earlier this month. Um, maybe even in September. I'm not sure, but it's new to me. Um, it's new to my Ulta, at least, and so I'm... Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So it says... I want candy and then it smells like chocolate like you know how Too Faced is I have their bronzers it smells like chocolate and it looks like that oh my gosh so pretty so pretty so I'm excited to try it maybe if you guys give me a thumbs up I can do like a candy Johnson tutorial with this eye look I would love to do that it's got lots of shades that I'm are really out of my comfort zone so I would love to do that for you guys um, so give me a thumbs up or let me know down below if that's something that you guys want to see. I also picked up this lipstick. It's actually pretty similar to what I have on, but it's not what I have on, I promise. Um, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Trust Issues on. You guys already know how I feel about Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lips, okay? But this is actually a dupe for it, so I was super excited to pick this up. I actually picked it up at Ulta for like $3 or something absolutely crazy, um, and it's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and I want to say that this is the shade Infatuation. I have no idea their shade, I don't know, but, um, oh yes, we'll see. We'll see. It's not it's not as like intense pigmentation as Anastasia, but it's really gorgeous and I'm excited to try it out. Makeup Revolution London. It's the luxury baking powder in banana. I've heard along the grapevine that this is a dupe for the Ben Nye banana powder that Kim Kardashian's makeup artist used on her. So I'm really excited to try that out because I've heard many great things. And again, I picked that up at Ulta for like $3. I don't know. My Ulta was having a crazy sale. So I spent all kinds of crazy money out of my own bank account. And I've already used this. Um, I used this whenever I washed my hair the other day but it is the Nexus Humectris mask and it's got a protein complex with intense hydrating mask for normal to dry hair and as you can see I have very very curly hair frizzy dry hair that has a lot of texture and body and volume and lord knows I don't know what to do with it besides wear it natural like I am today so um, I use these masks every time I wash my hair I put them on dry and then I like wait 15 to 20 minutes before I wash my hair and it makes my hair really really soft and silky and less frizzy and I just love it I just I'm a big fan of it this is actually a repurchase it is by the Real Techniques and they are actually here on YouTube. It's by Sam and Nick. And this is the Expert Face Brush. And it is a repurchase. I have like plenty of them. And I have tons of Real Techniques brushes. And they are amazing for the price. Pick this up because it is the best selling brush by the whole brand. And I figured that I needed a clean one. So pick that up. But I picked up these Kiss Lashes. And they are the Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. And this is Boudoir, and this is Little Black Dress. So I picked, oh, oh, 
So I picked these up because you guys know I'm a big fan of the Ardell Demi Wispies and I really wanted to branch out into things that are not um, kind of like in my comfort zone and these are not. I'm not I've never tried a faux mink lash before and Boudoir has more of like the wispy effects but they're like more um, very dramatic in, in the middle whereas the Ardell Wispies are kind of a little bit more natural. You can get away with a daytime look with them and everything whereas these are very BAM in your face. Lord. So I picked those up as well. Alright so now on to non-beauty products. I picked this up for my daughter. Oh my gosh things are falling everywhere and it's like a little hoodie and it says weekend please hurry and it's got some like lace detailing at the bottom. It's in this gorgeous like bright orange corally color and it's so freaking cute. I figured she could wear it with some like leggings or some jeans and where we're going is going to be really freaking cold so I figured she couldn't have enough long sleeve items so I picked that up for her. I also picked up this notebook because um, I have really bad I have a really bad tendency to not put things in the bottom comment section or description section because I forget what I used so I figured that I would have a journal so I could write them down for you guys and it that's my husband's name so I think I've never found anything with the word jot on it like especially like those like license plates or like things that have like your name on them they never have his name obviously but I found something that had his name so it was kind of like a little joke to him as well but I found this at TJ Maxx it was so cute and I was like well now I have a little excuse to write everything down and no excuse to not put it in the description checks Section. So I also picked up this passport holder and because I am going to be traveling a lot, I actually have two tra uh, passports. I have two passports so I need something to put them in so I don't lose them because the Lord knows that I lose everything. And so it says, the world is your oyster as long as you don't lose your passport. So now I have no excuses to lose my passport. Right? So I also picked up, which is really exciting um, because I've never tried one before. So it's a slimmer belt by Marika and it's comfortable and lightweight, excellent lower back support, and it's a durable neoprene material. I picked it up for $6 and it's originally $8. Big one. It's only six dollars, so I picked it up, and it's like a waist slimmer belt. Um, mine's downstairs in my gym bag because I only wear it during cardio. And I was really excited to pick this up because it's supposed to help with like dehydrating the skin. And I have a lot of loose, extra skin and stretch marks on my stomach area. I am a mom, care about it. Um, I've totally rocked it for the past four years, and I'm really proud of my body and what it can do. And I can actually give birth to children. So I mean, out there or people out there that can't give birth birth to children so I mean I'm very thankful but I wanted to try this out to see if it's a gimmicky product it is not supposed to make you slimmer it is not gonna help you lose weight it is simply going to make you sweat in your torso and stomach section and it it pulls out all of the water weight that you have there completely temporary not gonna be a long-term fix and I just wanted to clarify that because I am into the fitness industry I just wanted to get that out there that that is not going to fix any problems at all whatsoever it's not going to make you lose weight. It is just going to pull out excess water weight in your stomach region. Disclaimer. This is my favorite mask, um, but a sheet mask, I should say. This is my favorite sheet mask. It's by Tony Moly. It's the Poor Care I'm Real Red Wine Mask Sheet. It smells like red wine and it is the most delicious smelling mask that I've ever had. I even tried to taste it one time. It does taste like red wine, but also like chemically so not do not um, try this at home children and I picked up the three pack I actually found this at Ross for six dollars for three of them and how crazy is that because I feel like there's six dollars at Ulta or Sephora or wherever and they're six dollars each so I got a three pack for six dollars so definitely go check out your local Ross for you know face products like that because that is my favorite one. It does a lot of the pore care so it totally minimizes my pores. I see a huge difference with it on and it's my favorite sheet mask. So I also picked this up from TJ Maxx. I had another one as well but I put it in my little giveaway so but the inside of it is very like plasticky like it's not um, it's not a cloth so it's e it feels like it's easy to like wipe up because I get a lot of makeup and like powders and stuff like that and it completely ruins makeup bags so this one's like plasticky or like polyester 
I want to say. And so I really like that. I picked up this really, really cute yellow pumpkin. Yellow is my all-time favorite color and I absolutely love it and it's just a little pumpkin and it's perfect for fall and I had to get that as soon as I saw it because usually everything's orange or like gold or white or something like that so I had to get it. It's yellow. It's stunning. I absolutely love it. I also picked up this little mirror and it's got like the lights and everything. You push this little button and it's like a stand. And I figured that that would be really good to have, especially since I am going to be moving. I won't be able to take my vanity set up. So I got something that I can actually travel with that's very, very, very lightweight and still has lights on it, which is perfect for doing your makeup. Last, but definitely not least, my camera battery is dying, so I need to hurry up. Sorry if I'm getting out of breath. But I got this cute sign. It says, Give Thanks. And it's got like a really pretty brown wood color. And then this is canvas with like the print on it. And I think that it's so pretty and it's huge. I have to like take up the whole screen, but it's so pretty. And I feel like it's not just, it doesn't just scream Thanksgiving to you. I feel like it screams, you know, like it can be up on your wall and you're just like thankful, you know? And so I picked that up because I don't want to have to change out my decor. I love Thanksgiving. It is definitely one of my favorite holidays. And so I want something that's kind of like I can have out all year and not be judged by my mother-in-law. So um, I definitely had way too much fun doing this video. Way too much fun shopping. I feel like I'm even forgetting things, which is a bad thing because that means that... <laughs> I spent way more money than I should have for sure, but um, I hope you guys liked it. Thumbs up for more haul videos. So if that's something that you like, please leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And that concludes our video. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.